Alright, good morning guys, how's it going? Wednesday. Um, alright. So it's really freaking early. Um, got about two and a half hours before MK shows up. Uh, he's gonna be doing some harvesting today, definitely. Um, but I'm up super early because I gotta shoot over to, uh... Gotta shoot over to the shop. And, um, put that order in for that dolly, because I don't believe I got a chance to do that yesterday. And, I want to make sure we got a, uh, would like to do the low load, but we don't have quite enough yet. But I'm also going to be doing, and there sits the logging trailer, yeehaw. Alright, looks like he's here, which is good. Holy crap, there's a lot of people here. A lot of staff. Probably a lot of companies and things he's doing. Showing around and all that jazz. Anyway, let's go get this done. Oh, my dude, my dude, my dude. What's going on, man? What's up, brother? What you, what you need? What you need from me? I need a... You need a dolly, right? To get that out of my property. Uh, yeah. Jeez. Okay. Alright, man. It's gonna be about, uh, 8,900. Alright. Alright, man. You, you need anything else right now? No. That's it. Just a dolly. Alright, well, that's gonna be, uh, just give me a couple hours to verify and put everything through and, uh, yeah. You can pick that up. Yeah. Well, at least you're being honest now. I'm always... Man. Yeah, come on now. I'm always honest. Alright, I will go Dale. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, see you later. Verify everything. He knows I'm good for it. How much money is he gonna get before he realizes that I'm good for it? You know what I'm saying? Like, it just pisses me off. And it would save me time because I'm already here. I can just grab it up. But that's fine. Let's just sit out there a little longer then. I'm sure he'll verify this quite quickly just so we can get it out of here. Go get the, uh, this is where we need that damn trailer. Get the tractor, bring that down there. And then we'll swing back at around 8.30, which doesn't give us a whole lot of time, actually. Um, yeah, it really doesn't give us much time at all. That's alright. Cloudy, cloudy, cloudy morning right now. Jeez. I think it's supposed to clear up maybe by this afternoon. We'll see. I took the bucket off this, right? Yeah, I did. I should have just left it on. Not much point to take the thing off. It's, gonna be old. it's going right back on it anyway. Yeah, now, yesterday, I don't, uh... Uh, let me just make sure we got a weight on the back, which we do not. That, that would have been terrible, because that would have been a super waste of time. Let's train that a little bit better. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, yesterday I know we moved some, but I don't believe I moved the maximum amount a lot of yesterday. I mean, just because one, I didn't, I don't really know how much, I don't know how much I have. And <clears throat> the other big thing is... This takes a long time to do this. To run the silage back and forth, it really does. I'm trying to think what the best way that is gonna be here. I don't know, what let's uh, let's just wait till we get to the Get down there by the cows and see how much silage we actually have left. That'll kind of help me figure out what direction to go in today. 
Let's take a look at the paper again and see how many, how much it is. I keep forgetting. I think it's fifty thousand, but I'm not one hundred percent sure. So we'll see. I know I was frickin' turning and burning yesterday doing this, but man. It's as fast as I could safely do it anyway. Alright, let me kick the info panel on. It's not looking like we got all that much left, so. Uh, we've got 65,000 liters left. Yeah, that's not much good, because I'm, I'm pretty sure you're left. Uh, 50,000 liters. Hmm. Try that again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure a lot 50,000 liters. Um, and we're down to... We're at 64,000, so... we we'll leave about 14,000 liters in there. About 14 to 15,000. And we'll be top for what we're allowed to do in one day. Yeah, I definitely decided that I would like to rent a bin from them and uh, get rolling on that. I gotta just look over the charges again. I think it's five grand a week for a bin, which isn't that bad unless you're making money off the bin. While you're not, if you, because like it takes it takes me like a week to fill the bin just because of the, a little amount of grass that we do have access to. So, the problem is, for the first week, I would pay five grand, and then, you know, I'd have to bin, but, uh, be paying that five grand to use the bin and be making no money off of it. So by the next week, now I'm at ten grand, but I can start making money off of it, and I can cancel the bin at that point, you know, in the next week, so they'll cancel it at the end, so I'm not paying 15, but it's still going to put me out 10 grand out of whatever I'm going to make in there, and if I'm only doing, if I'm only doing as much as I'm doing here, you know, 10% or 15%, whatever it was, I think it was 15 or maybe 20, somewhere around 15 to 20%, um, it's not going to be, I don't know, it's not really going to be worth it, to be honest with you, so I got to, I got to figure this out. I gotta be able to fill it and ready it in a day, basically, or two days tops. So, I don't know. It'll be a lot of work for me. The fact that it's already 8 o'clock now and I'm only working on scoop number two gives you a really good idea of just how long this takes. And I almost rolled this tractor. That would have been. That would have been bad. I think you're supposed to have this above car length, of car height. And you can't have it tilted down. Gotta make sure that beacon's on. Yeah, you definitely gotta shoot back <laughs> over to the field there. Get MK started up on that. It's weird. The things he'll do and the things he won't do drives me nuts. Like most workers out here won't actually unload grain. Like they won't remove it from the harvester. I'm not sure why exactly they don't do it something to do with, oh boy, whew, now that might have screwed it up a little bit, but made it as slow as I possibly could in that case, we're going to have to drive with this at a lower height, because that's just too, that's too risky, we want to get right up on it, and then tip up a little bit, and then dump it in, um, but yeah, they won't unload, so, like, I can get him harvesting, but he won't actually unload the grain. I don't know, that comes back to some theft crap or something or another, I don't, I don't really know, I don't really remember. Something stupid, that's all I know. It's now 8, 8 19, so he'll be there, basically. Within the next, you know, few minutes or so. So I can drive out here, do a load or two. Then I gotta go back and unload him. Which is an option, I guess, I and mean, it'll allow me to continue doing what I'm doing. And it'll allow him to get cracking as well. I don't know, maybe that's what we'll do. 
That is a lot of work, though. Could just stay at the field and run the, uh, the drill up behind him and run the loading wagon as well for now. Then if I get a chance, I'll do more of this later. I don't have that much left in there, so it's not like it's a... Not, not exactly like I'm sitting on a gold mine here. That's kind of Mary's already over there anyways. He's pretty sure as, what he's, as far as what he has to do, but not 100%, so... That's why he's just chilling. I'll get him rolling on that. Going on, what's up, man? What's good? What's up? So I'm doing this, right? Hey, first, I'm gonna, uh, I don't know, probably run up the drill on this. We'll see. I'm gonna sound good. All right. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, gonna need to remove. Well, we're on. The field farm, we don't need to worry about the direction so much. Now, this I can pull the wagon with, so I'll do that actually. Let me just put the weight right here for now. Probably should have backed it up into, uh, into it so it's a little easier to load up later on. I'm sure I'll regret it later. Damn, I should have backed it up. So now I gotta load it up funny. Do that. Crank that. Uh, pull the top ball for that, baby. Alright, good deal. Now this will be ready to unload him. It's not the most powerful thing ever. And he should be on his way down, although I wanted to take off those headlines and I never did, did I? Is he full or something? I'm actually going to tell him I'm going to do that really quick. I don't know what's going on here. It must be full, but the auger's not even out. What the frick is going on? I have no idea where he ran off to. Okay. Of course, I put the tractor directly behind me. That was so smart. No, man, you hear me? Yeah, where you at? I'm in the uh, blue tractor. Where the hell did you go? I'm P, man. Oh. Where you going? I'm taking off the headlights. Come on, man. That was like probably a one-time thing. You know what the problem with that is? The fact that you said it was probably a one-time thing. I can't risk that. So I'm just going to do this because I know you don't agree and you think it's silly to take the headlines off. So I'm just going to pull these off. And uh, once I'm done, you can have at it again. I don't know. Whatever you want. Let's work for me. Yep. Oh, I got over here and I was like, what the like disappeared out of the track you were going man yeah man I'm gonna go right, pull that in now I'll to the top take the top off be all right Speaking on, gonna be close to the road. Definitely gonna cut some stuff out as, as usual. Well, as of new usual, I should say. But right now we're kind of kind of mixing it up a bit here. So I think I'm gonna do double. I'm gonna pull a double, uh, pull the headlines off uh, twice on the top here because. Really 
and down the cars at all. Yeah, yeah definitely can double, double, double headline here. Really got to get another one to come by. Even on the fuel being cut in half, I mean, it's not as bad. It's actually nowhere near as bad, but it's, it's still really freaking small. Not a, it's actually a lot less, a lot less bad on the other field because this one here is quite a bit bigger. <coughs> it's actually giving enough room to turn around for sure. I really hope, maybe not. I don't know. Triple up here, this is ridiculous. The third one definitely is enough. I just don't want him having to pull out into the road every single time he does a pass. I mean, we have only had the one incident out of all the time we've been doing this, so... Not that big of a deal, but... The fact that it's gonna cost me quite a bit of money makes it a big deal. Okay, he is up here. I was like, please tell me he's gonna actually make his way up here. Oh, that beeping is terribly annoying. Sorry about that, guys. Thought it was going to be a lot shorter. Alright, man. It's all you. I'm going to go. Good. Let me see. That's plenty enough. That's a good deal. Although, I should have unloaded him. Now I gotta run down, grab this, swing back up, unload him, and then I can start drilling. And it'll probably just be running the, uh, running this process for a while here. Would like to get this, <clears throat> would like to have this fully drilled out, but it's probably not gonna happen. already here. That sucks. But it's all good. I guess that's it, man. Figured. What we're gonna do is leave this, leave this midfield here. Have the other tractor get the drill, start drilling this out. Got that rolling. I'm getting quite a bit done, but the problem is, is I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna stop earlier today. The normal, but that's just because, I mean, starting at like 6 o'clock or whatever the hell it was, 5.30, 6 o'clock, I don't remember, but I don't want to be doing this so. all freaking day long. I mean, I'm already going to be doing it, but plus all day and all night, no, I'm good. Alright, I gotta go switch the seat out. Because I have uh, barley in it currently, and I need canola in it. 21%. I'm gonna leave it. And hope it's enough. I'm just gonna do a even exchange. Just get it hooked up to the fill and the empty bud, and good to go. And I'll call that. Got our canola. Nice to have separate drills for each thing, so I don't have to worry about doing this every time too. 
but I want to talk expensive. Thanks. Alright, he's on his way down now, so I will go... Make sure he's clear on that. And once he finishes... him doing this so I don't have to. And the only part is I don't have the cruise control set right now so it's just all about matching speeds. And of course, distance becomes an issue too. Ah, whatever. We'll just unload it at the end. Outside camera. Apparently that's it. So now we're just going to get this out of the way again. started here. I actually could probably let him go for two passes because this uh this yield is low on this and I don't think it's I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Not sure. Hold that and get cracking. <laughs> it's actually quite. <clears throat> the sun came out, which is nice. That helps keep it a little bit warm. It's actually quite chilly out this morning. Should have worn my other boots. It's kind of getting my feet a little cold. So I'm about to go up, go back down, and then uh, I'll swing back up and unload again, but it's not too bad. I guess. It's kind of a funny episode, but. Gotta get her done. Man, what's going on? Where you at? Waiting. Oh, sh I was I was waiting on you to give me a call to, to for confirmation to make sure it's all good to go. Oh, it's, it's good to go. Come on, man. Slow down here, man. Yeah, I'll be there in just a minute. All right, man. Talk to you later. Bye. Jeez, this guy is people skills so amazing. Alrighty. Let me go pick up that dolly and that trailer. But first, let's try to meet him at the bottom here. Or not. Not much get up and go, that's for sure. There we go. Right out here. Good deal, good deal. Perfecto. I was just gonna uh, cut out real quick, because this is pretty much all we're doing. But I gotta go. I'll go grab the. We'll go grab the dolly there first. Get that done. Whew, at least the heat's good in this, baby. Oh, 
course now I gotta get this stupid dolly underneath this trailer. Quite an awkward spot, I think. Dollies are annoying to maneuver as it is. The other side there? Yep, there she is. Nice. Okay, cool. This is a cool little thing, though. that unfortunately we had to uh, manually all right do I don't know if you'll notice that I had some trouble with my camp my footage there so I had to kind of cut for a bit and uh, yeah whatever we're back Who cares might have to get one of my tractors and push the dolly, push the uh, lo uh, loading, bleh, logging trailer. Just because these are really annoying to maneuver as it is, so... Trying to do it when you're in a annoying tight spot really is not good. Lock that up. We got her. Good deal. I really, really hate maneuvering. Dollies. That's why if I got the low loading trailer, and I think I would buy a second dolly. It's kind of a waste of money, but it's a lot less stressful when I'm doing this. So I don't have to keep switching them out. Then you can feel that weight. Just tugging, tugging, tugging. But this is awesome. Now, he can remove the trees we want to remove. And this is actually going to stay right around here. It's not in the way too much, right? Not too much. There we go. Perfecto. I'm actually going to leave that like right in there because we're going to take that, uh, we're going to take those trees out right there. shut this off and I'll probably have to drive in the crops because I'm sure he's already got his auger out and he's basically probably full at this point. We'll see. Maybe he'll make it to the top. Doubtful. We'll see though. Alright. Hopefully I wasn't breathing into the mic too much there. I had to, it was off, not adjusted quite properly. So. If so, probably I'm fixed totally. So I will pull in, maybe, is he at the top? He is at the top, so we are going to make it, which is good. Uh, I don't remember what I got crew control, I don't know if I have it at 6 high or 6 low. He actually doesn't have his auger out at all, which surprises me. No hazards on, because so that means he's not at 80% yet. That's very shocking. Outside cam, he has a different view for a bit here. We are at 6.8, which I think is 6 high. Yeah, it is definitely 6 high, although that's 5 and that's too low. So we'll do 6 low, which is 6.2. And I believe that matches speed with it. Yeah, it's good. This, this uh, tipper is amazing. Percentage, though, that's freaking epic. So hopefully Sunday, if I don't have anything going on, I'll do a little logging for a couple hours. I'm not doing anything crazy with that, but do a couple hours worth of logging so we can get something done. Not exactly a ton of time, but it's something.
All right, so pretty much just going to be carrying on like this for a while. So towards the end of the process, I will uh, probably check back in with you guys and then see what I'm doing. Maybe head home, maybe go do some silage. Depends on what time it is and how far along we are. But for now, I'm going to cut out. And I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, welcome back. And uh, just about finished up. Um, MK is already... Sorry about that. Super panels are really screwed up and not working properly, so I'm sure that was insanely annoying. Anyway, MK's um, already headed home. Looks like he missed a bit at the edge here. Said he was good, he was done. Uh, yeah, he did. Definitely, definitely, definitely missed a bit at the edge. I'm probably just going to cut through it. Uh, mow it down and cut it back in. Not that big of a deal, and I kind of got to go back up anyway, because I'm not covering. I'm not going to cover all of this both sides fully, so that works. And then I gotta finish fertilizing it, I gotta empty out the trailer. Oh, that's... That sucks. Oh well. It's more so annoying than anything else. Are you serious right now? I thought it was long enough to cover it all the way, both sides, but apparently just too small. I had to put more uh, seed in the drill here because it wasn't quite enough, unfortunately. So I spent about a thousand on that. That sucked. But we'll hit this last spot, we'll go put this away, and then we'll finish uh, fertilizing this field here. I'm going to take this sower off though so we can better get up and go basically. Wasn't too bad. Uh, we got we got through it pretty quickly. There we go. Still sliding a little bit, but not as bad. Yeah, definitely not like it used to be. I got a demand. But quick glance, it looks like it's heating plant. So it's wood chips. Which doesn't do us any good because we don't have a wood chipper. We've got a chainsaw and a logging trailer, but we don't have a wood chipper. That was really close to the trailer. I could have parked it that close because it wasn't touching it yet, but still that was a little closer than I like it to be. Alright, let's bang this out quick. Get this done. Let's go over where we already planted. This would be no good. Come up this way. Lined up decent at least. I eh, probably could have nailed that all in one shot, to be honest with you. But might miss some little bits in the middle here. That nah, looks good, actually. Nice, awesome. So one pass, we'll take it. We only got 7% left in this thing anyway, so... It's actually really good that we're nailing this basically on one pass. 5%. 150 liters left. On. Today would be good. Perfect. Perfecto. Now we'll hop on the driving trail here. And we will use that 1% right at the bottom here. And that's only 59 liters. That might still cover it. Could come in on it sideways, guaranteed to cover it, but. Not that worried about it. Nice. One little spot right up here. Good deal. Definitely got to add to this next time, but 
course, I could have covered more area if I would have had it lifted. Let's get a little bit wider spread. It's all right, though. This back. Yeah. Now we got to do is park up this tractor and load that other one. Put away the combine and the other tractor. Might leave the combine out, or at least leave it hooked up. I don't know. We'll see. Get that done. Perfect. Good deal. And not bad, pretty close to rent when I wanted to uh, call it quits basically anyway, so that works out a little later, but always is, always is. There's always so much to do. I was talking to my friend, he's like, I barely have enough to get by, barely enough to do, you know, to keep, to show anybody. I was like, how? It's like, you have so much equipment, so much you could be doing. So I don't know. I don't know how he has doesn't have enough to keep himself going. Yeah, we'll probably just unload and uh, now nah, we'll unload tomorrow. Doesn't really matter. Start out with that, maybe a little bit of silage too. Sewing or selling also. Let's see. But uh yeah, I'm pretty beat, so. Alright guys. That's good. We're going to call it. I'm going to end here. I'm just driving back home anyway, so like you don't see it a million times. Oh, appreciate you guys checking it out again. Thanks a bunch. Later.